Hi guys, today I am here to review Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hulk. Hulk? Hulk? Huh? The story is about Kelsey, who by random acts of faith, well, not that random, she ends up in India, trying to break a 300 year old curse for this prince that was turned into a tiger. And yeah, Tiger's Curse is, in, is the exciting first volume in an epic fantasy romance novel that will leave you breathless and yearning for more. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. 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 I started this and I was very excited and we start with a prologue and the plot appears and it's it's just there and bam, we are ready to kick off. So that was a good start, you know, we already have our conflict, who's the bad guy, good guy, uh, we know what's going on and it's just good. Then we go with Kelsey who is a 17 year old, 17 year old, 17 year old? I think she's 17 who lives in Oregon, Oregon, I can't pronounce that. Mm. And she's looking for a job and she finds one in the circus and it, it's here where my first problem pops up. Okay, one of the main problems with me was that the dialogue was so fake. So fake. Nobody talks like that. Nobody talks like that. No, no, don't try to justify it. Nobody talks that way. And the fact that how things happen was also very unreal, no. Stuff doesn't happen like that, it doesn't. She goes to the circus, asks for a job, and they tell her that yes, she has a job, but she has to live in the circus for two weeks because she needs to take care of the tigers and other animals 24-7. She goes home and tells her foster parents about this because her main original parents died in an accident a couple of years ago so she has foster parents and she tells him oh hey i got a job i'm gonna be living in the circus for two weeks see you later oh that's so great you got a job good for you sweetie that will look really good on your resume and they just let her go that simple my parents would have never ever let me just go like that to work at a circus just 24 7 for two weeks i mean what could possibly go wrong? There are absolutely no chances that that circus may be, I don't know, fake, something, I don't know, kid, she can be kidnapped. Because fine, the circus is a good established circus and we trust it. But seriously, you're not even gonna go with her to look at where she's going to be sleeping for the next two weeks? Just be with her? Just make sure she's going to be okay? Of course not, why would we do that? Then she goes to the circus and she sees the tiger and she's so captivated by it and she goes every single night to talk to him and read to him. The tiger. Mm, yeah, I do talk with my dogs a lot, like, a lot. Yeah, I talk to them a lot. But there's limits, I don't read to them and I... I don't know, going to talk to the tiger because you're just magically drawn to him, it's like, come on, come on, please clean, how cool, whatever. Just try to make this a little bit more interesting and difficult, don't just make everything to the convenience of the plot, just try. Then boom, two weeks pass and then this man comes to the circus wanting to take the tiger to a special place in India where he can be free and live happily ever after. And he is described as old but not that old, you know, like he can be a grandpa but he's in a very good shape. And he asks Kelsey to go with him to India so she can accompany the tiger and make sure he's okay, you know, while he settles in. Um, all expenses will be paid, he will get the passport for her, and everything will be nice and happy. I have a hair right here and I can't get it off. Oh, sorry. And she says yes, she will go to India with him to work for the summer. Oh, that's so great, sweetie. I hope you have such a great time and learn a lot of things because that will look so good on your resume. Parenting. Parenting at its best. I would never trust that family to take care of my dogs, no. Because what could possibly go wrong if you follow a stranger because that's what he is to India? I mean, <laughs> what can go wrong? I have seen this in the news a couple of times. There's absolutely no possibility that the trip to India can be a trap. She can be kidnapped, turned into a sex slave. There's a billion ways that this can go wrong and no, they just let her go and she's just happy to go because she's a 17 year old that likes to take chances on life. No. There's a difference between feeling adventurous and wanting to do things with your life and being stupid. A big one. Unrealistic. And when the tiger, Ren, finally shows himself as a man to her, it's like she believes him. 
she j she's just like, oh my god, you you're lying. Oh no, you are you are because I feel the connection between us. I I know you are him. I know it. I know it. All of your instincts should be telling you that stuff like that does not happen. No, you you shouldn't be believing it. No, that's not how things should be happening. I mean, I I, I can I get it, but it's, I feel like Colleen Hauk should have done a better job, but actually make me believe that stuff that was happening. It didn't. It's just ish ash ush. The action scenes were good. We go into a lot of missions and it's like, it's Indiana Jones. It's Indiana Jones and the Mummy Returns and the Book of the Jungle. Just Every action sequence had potential, but it was not done right. I didn't feel anything. I was just reading how they were running away from killer monkeys. That's a thing. Killer monkeys. That's a thing. And I just... You know. And I get that I was supposed to feel like my heart was beating a lot in my chest and it was like, oh, this, that, so thrilling, the action, the woo. The action was not exciting. That's it. That's it. Then there's the fact that they spent constant hours in the jungle and she's just bored out of her mind. But she loves to read. And she takes a hell of a lot of stuff in her backpack, but she can't fit a book. Honestly. And then they finish with their mini mission and they go back to civilization and she picks up a book. You couldn't take a book into the jungle? Was it that hard? <laughs> and also, th th this is probably a bit ridiculous, but they spend a hell of a lot of time sleeping in this novel. I'm not even kidding you. Every end of a sentence, it's like, I was too tired and I fell asleep. I was beat up and I dozed off. I, um, I slept for two days straight. Every, she's always sleeping. She's always sleeping. You, she's always asleep. <laughs> but whatever, I don't mind it. If you like to sleep a lot, let's move on. The ending, the ending. This is not a spoiler, people. This is not a spoiler that, no, it's not a spoiler because I will not tell you what happens. But I will tell you what's going on with Kelsey at that moment because it's not a spoiler. I at least don't think it's a spoiler at all. But if you are super picky with spoilers and you're like, no, I don't want to listen to anything, no, 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 no. Then allow me to invite you to stop watching this video and check out my written review. I will leave a link to my review on my blog in the description. So click on that and you will read a much more structured review of mine. Mm -hmm. So click that and you will be able to easily avoid spoilers. But again, this is not a spoiler. I don't think it's a spoiler. Just It's just in case you're like very picky about stuff. Now, I want you to imagine almost every single YA novel in the world where the girl does not think she's good enough for the guy or the guy does not think he's good enough for the girl and he, she pushes him, she away because yes, you deserve better. Just I'm pushing you away. <laughs> it's that. It's that. Even better, think of New Moon from the Twilight series. You've read that novel or you've watched the movies. Face it, you know about the story. Think of Edward when he tries to push Bella away because, oh, I'm not good for you, Bella. And then it's like, no, you're not good for me. I'm gonna leave you. And then she, she's like all whiny and, and sad. Just think of Kelsey as Edward. That's, that's it. That, yeah. She thought she was not deserving of Ren and that she was not good enough and it was just all a huge pity party of how oh I'm not good enough and my low self-esteem and he deserves better and it was so stressing and Ren trying to convince her that yes he wanted her he didn't want anyone else and she was like no you don't know what you want no leave me alone yeah no no I'm not good for you it's not good to think so little of you it's not good you have this guy that it's the opportunity of a lifetime. You, you get a chance, you have a shot at true love. And because you're a very pathetic person that thinks so little of yourself, you're going to let that just slip through your fingers. How can you be so stupid? How? The worst part is that I get that because I tend to have my self-esteem issues and I've pushed a lot of 
people away. I'm not just talking relationship. I'm just talking friends. I I've missed a lot of chances in my personal life uh, because of my little issues. So I kind of understand her and I know where it's coming from, but it still pisses me off. And even after I was so angry and so frustrated when I finished with Tiger's Curse, I had to keep reading with Tiger's Quest because if I saw Kelsey have a happy ending, have her happy ending, then it meant that there's a shot for other flawed people like me, you know? Oh, for the love of God, I already tried with Tiger's Quest and no. You will see in my review of Tiger's Quest, but if you don't want to check out that review just in case, just know that it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better and no, Kelsey and I turned out to be nothing alike. No, no. I think I gave the series three stars and good reads, but I was being too generous. I am going to... I'm not sure if I'm going to give it one star or two stars, but no. It has so many five-star reviews on good reads and so many people loved it, and I... I honestly don't see why. The action sequences did not get me excited. I wasn't feeling anything. Everything was unbelievable, from the actions of the characters to the dialogue. Kelsey, as a main character, is just wrong. She's a bad character. The author tried very hard to put her in this sort of pedestal and have everyone tell her how great she is, how courageous she is, and that she's a hero. She is not a hero. That is not a hero. That is an immature, whiny, 17-year-old kid with self-esteem issues. That's what she is. And she doesn't overcome that, and you can see that in the second book. It's just the same. You will see what I mean later, you will see what I mean. So no, I would not recommend the Tiger's Curse series. But I would give 10 out of 5 stars to the cover design, it's just so good. It is the best cover I have ever seen. Look, the tiger, the colors, how it shines, it's just, it's beautiful. This texture, you can actually feel it. It's well balanced, it's intriguing, it's just, it's a tall book. Yeah. You open it and we have a little map, you can see that there's color in the main book. There's also texture right here, can you see it? It's just very well designed. The only little thing is that the pages are white. Completely white. Typical cream colored pages, white pages. And if you read this with the sun directly just going into it, it's a bit hard. But apart from that, the design, it's the best. This, in my opinion, is the best book design I have ever seen so far in YA. What a waste. So yes, I continued with the second book and I will have a review of it hopefully up tomorrow and I will see you guys in my next video. Bottom line is I do not recommend Tiger's Curse. It's not what I hoped it would be. It's nothing. It's not it's nothing worth reading. That that's that's how I would put it. It's harsh, but that's that's how I would put it. A story with so much potential with a great storyline and it just failed miserably. That's it. Let me know if you've read that book. If you liked it, I'm sorry because I, I get sad when I read reviews, bad reviews on books that I really liked, but I really didn't like it. Or let me know if you agree with me. I don't know. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!